Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have some very exciting news to share with you today. I have made and built from scratch 10 junk journals and I have decided to sell them and open my own little Etsy shop. My plan is to open my shop on Sunday 12pm UK time. So the video today is going to be a journal share. I'm going to show you the journals in a bit more detail just so you can have a bit of a better look at them but I'm going to just jump right in with it so that the video isn't too long. So I will start with these ones. These ones are all very similar, they're just different colours and they've got different patterned papers. They all have a window on the front so these ones all have a circle and these three all have a rectangle. They are all 6 by 8 inches and they all have a 2 inch spine. They also have 80 pages which is 160 sides and I'll just give you a bit more of a look into each one separately now. So this is a dark blue cover. It's got some gold detailing around the edge and if I didn't mention earlier, all the papers in the window are by Crepe Paper Flourish. It has a three hole pamphlet stitch and I think that's what it's called and eight signatures. There's a gold eyelet so you can add your own beads and charms and I've used a wax linen thread for the binding. That's the back. Front, top. They are all lined with some sort of flourish paper on the inside and they all do come with a bag of goodies. So inside there are just some die cut tags and bits and pieces and journaling cards from the flourish collection. And they all do come with one of them. So the journal isn't that embellished, I've left that so that you have complete freedom as to what you do with the pages. There's a paper bag there, some Tim Holtz paper, tea dyed paper. They all have some sort of map fold out in them. And there's some um, extra goodies dotted around on some of the pages too. Um, with the paper bags, I haven't opened them, so you can either cut off the side and have it as a side load and pocket, or cut off the top and have a top load and pocket, or you can just keep it as a page. There's lots of plain papers, music page, scrapbook paper, there's ledger pages, there's a tag and some tea dyed paper. The tag there and some tea dyed paper. It's an envelope and postcard. There's a window envelope that is open at the top so you can slip something in there. Some bird pages. An envelope and tag. Some more book pages, envelope. Uh, the glassing bags that are in the journals are all vintage so if you see any yellow in that's because they're old. That's a tea card. Lined paper, there's a glassing bag there with a ticket in there, the wallpaper scrap and uh, some tickets. Some ledger paper there. And that's that one. Next up is this dark green one, and this has some gold detailing around the edge. Again, the same sort of spine. That's the back, the side, and the top. And this one comes with this paper bag with the same sort of goodies inside. There's the stamps there. I'm just trying to go really, really quickly because they're all wallpaper scrap. They're all sort of very similar and it's just to give you an idea of what's, what papers are in the journals. There's a paper bag there with some scraps. It's a doily. Tag. There's that map fold out page. Uh, 
There's some vintage ledger paper. There's a tea dyed envelope here. Vintage ledger paper. I love the doily on this tea dyed paper. There's a ticket in there. Another window envelope. And you can get in from the top on this side too. That's that one. So this one is a little bit different from the rest of them. It's the only one that is a pastel colour. So it's this beautiful pastel blue colour. I've not put any detailing around the edge because I liked it without. And it's got this beautiful house paper in the middle, which is also from Crepe Paper Flourish. This is the binding. And it has a different colour eyelet too. And that's the back. Side, top. And this one comes with a paper bag too. It's a pocket and a postcard. Some craft paper, the tag and pocket. And there's the map fold out page on this one. Glassine bag, the envelope. more tea dyed paper oh that was a paper scrap <laughs> the pocket There's another pocket here uh, a couple of extras and there's this beautiful vellum paper which I thought looked really good over this floral paper the paper bag, some stamps, window envelope, the wallpaper scrap, and that's that one. So the next three I'm going to show you are slightly different again. They all have a circle window on the front, and this one is dark brown, and it's got some um, gold detailing around the edge too. And that's the spine, the back, side, top. And this one had this one. This is vintage ledger paper. It came from the Instagram shop Postal Love. And I will leave a link in the description box in case you want to check that shop out. There's a window envelope. dyed paper, more Tim Holtz paper, fold out page. So they all have very similar papers, just in a slightly different order. Matte paper. Paper bag and postcard. Pocket. pocket. There's another bit of paper bag on the side of it. It's an envelope and tea tag. wallpaper scrap there so that's that one 
So this one is a plum pinky purpley colour. It's got some gold detailing around the edge and it's got the circle window. It's got the eight signatures and the gold eyelet. That's the back, the side and the top. This is probably my favourite out of the Flourish Collection ones. And it's got the bag of goodies. Some more Tim Holtz paper there. That's the Tim Holtz one. Tag. Some book pages. It's a fold out page. Paper bag. So envelope there. It's a wallpaper scrap, tea dyed paper, it's another window envelope. It's a postcard. That's a paper scrap. This is ledger paper from that same Instagram shop, Postal Love. And this is the map fold out page. Paper scrap. The other side of that ledger paper. And that's that one. And this is the last one in that collection. This is a light brown colour and it's got some gold detailing around the edge and that circle window. That's the spine the back, side and top and that's got a bag of goodies too. I love this paper. <laughs> and here's the map fold up page in this one. So there's plenty of plain paper, craft paper, lined paper. So you can do some journaling, postcard, envelope. There's some fold out pages as well, but there's not too many. So it allows you complete freedom. Tea dyed paper. Another window envelope, book pages. Some stamps there. Wallpaper scrap and a tag. It's Tim Holtz paper. Some scraps there. It's vintage ledger paper as well. That, that one. So this is the little Christmas collection I have created this year. I have not long finished them and I am so happy with how they've turned out. I have four of them but this one here is quite tiny so I'm going to come back to this one in a little bit. So these ones are five and a half inches wide by seven and a half inches tall and they have a one and a half inch spine. There are 60 pages, which is 120 sides in each journal. They all have a circle window on the front and they all have a stamped snowflake design. That design is by American Crafts and I've just gone and embossed the designs as well. So that's a gold one and silver and white. So let me show you the inside of these journals. Okay, so here is the red one. This is probably my favourite out of all the Christmas journals because I absolutely love all the colouring on this one. So there's some gold detailing around the edges. There's a gold eyelet so you can add your own beads and charms. There are six signatures and I've used a gold waxed linen thread. That's the back, the side and the top. They all come with a little bag as well. So in here, there are just some journaling cards and some die cut pieces from some of the remaining papers. 
and you can just add them to your journal as you wish. There's also some tags there as well. Okay, so let's show you the inside. So this red journal has more red toned papers in here. It's a Tim Holtz one, I like that one. And some Christmas music paper, Christmas book pages. Again, they all have similar sort of papers. They might just be different patterns and in a slightly different order. Some ledger paper from that shop, Postal Love. The gold paper bag. And again, I haven't opened it at the top or the side and you can choose which way you want to open it. And this is a game sheet from 1974. I love this paper. Some ledger paper. Oh, that's a pocket there. I haven't added any goodies throughout this one. Um, but you do get the bag of goodies that I showed you at the beginning. There's another game sheet there. That one's also from 1974. There's an empty envelope there that can be moved around. And that's that one. And then there's the green one. This one also comes with a goodie bag as well, but I won't show you the inside because it's pretty much the same. Okay, so this is the green one. It has some silver detailing around the edge and a bigger snowflake design here. It's got a grey eyelet and it's got some grey wax linen thread. That's the back, side, top. The paper bag. Vintage leisure paper. Tim Holtz paper. An envelope you can move around. Lined paper. And this um, journal has more green tones in it. more game sheets and that's that one so then we have this one this is a dark blue cover and it's got some white detailing around the edge and this has three embossed snowflakes on the front and then this has a white waxed linen thread and a white eyelet and that's the back, side, top, and this one also comes with a paper bag. I, I didn't have any blue ones, so there's a green one with the same sort of goodies. So I'll show you the inside of this one. And this one does have some blue tones in it, but it's kind of a mix of red, blue and green. It has a paper bag there. The game sheet, they all have two of the game sheets in each one. Some music paper, some blue plain paper. I love this Tim Holtz one, <laughs> it's really nice. It's an envelope there. Ledger paper. And that's the end of that one. 
So this is the last one to show you. This is a miniature Christmas junk journal. It is a hard cover. In fact, all of them are hard covers. I don't know if I said. Um, so yeah, they're all hard cover junk journals. Um, so this was really just an experiment to see if I can make a small one and it turned out really well. I would keep it for myself, but I really don't need one for this year. So I thought I would list this in my shop too. So this is three inches wide by four inches tall and it has a one inch spine and it has four signatures. There is a small eyelet at the top so you can add your own beads and charms and I've used a, a, red, a red waxed linen thread. It's also tied with a little bit of sari silk. I will show you into that one in a minute and it comes with its own little bag of goodies. So it's just a few small pieces that will fit in, so some tags and some journaling pieces just to get you started. So let's unwrap this one now. So here's an up close with the front. It's a dark green cover and there is gold detailing around the edge. And I absolutely love this window. It's um, from the Crepe Paper Snowflake collection and it's this little car carrying a Christmas tree and I thought it was just really pretty. And that's the side and the back. And I'm not sure if I mentioned, but it has 40 pages, which is 80 sides. So it's got quite a lot in there. So let me show you this one. In fact, I may need to zoom in a little bit because it's so small. Okay, that's a little bit better. So there are again, similar sort of papers. Let's fold out page there, craft paper. ledger paper and there's a mixture of green and reds in here some ledger paper there I love this paper <laughs> And that's it. Now, if you want to compare the size, so this awesome photo of me, <laughs> um, this is a photo that was printed on HP Sprocket, on a HP Sprocket, and this does fit in here. So, for example, there is your page, and it will fit. And this is a photograph that I printed on uh on my printer but it had six photos that fitted on a six by four photo and these ones fit as well so it will fit any small photograph or you can use it to, to document lists like movies christmas cards all that sort of thing or you can have it as a writing journal or gratitude journal but yeah that is that little one so these are all the junk journals that I will have in my Etsy shop on Sunday, 8th of November at 12pm UK time. I'm super happy with how they've turned out and I can't wait to make more. I will also have some paper goods for sale in the future, but on Sunday it will just be these 10 junk journals. If you've made it this far into the video, thank you so much. I know not everyone enjoys these types of videos. I would love to know if you have a favourite, please leave it down in the comment section. I really love the red Christmas one and I also really like the plum one. If you do have any questions, please let me know down in the comment section and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.